Here's a question that involves a bit of insight and a nice application of some good physics. Freddy Frog drops vertically from a tree onto a horizontally moving skateboard. The skateboard slows. Give two reasons for the slowing, one in terms of force and the other in terms of momentum conservation. In terms of force, we have to ask what force acts on Freddy after dropping and making contact with a skateboard. More specifically, what horizontal force acts on him? Freddy drops vertically with no horizontal component of motion. But when he lands on the skateboard, he is brought up to a speed at which he and the skateboard then move on. A horizontal gain in speed means a horizontal force. What kind of force could this be? Did you say friction? Do you mean friction between Freddy's feet and the surface of the skateboard? I hope so. If there were no friction, say in dropping onto a perfectly slippery board, Freddy wouldn't be able to stay on the board and ride with it. Without friction, he'd slip off the board upon contact. So the force on Freddy's feet must be a friction force. Agree? But we're talking about the friction force that carries Freddy to the right. Is this the force that slows the skateboard? Not really. But what does Newton's third law say about forces? That they act in pairs? And by action-reaction, the force of the board on Freddy to the right has an equal and opposite force by Freddy on the board to the left? Yes! Freddy exerts a force on the board to the left. That's minus F to show the direction to the left. This reaction force is what slows the skateboard. So I erase the vector that represents the force on Freddy. And we have the answer to the first part of our question, that a briefly acting force of friction slows the board. Yum! Now let's answer the question about slowing in terms of momentum conservation. Since no external force acts in the horizontal direction of our Freddy and skateboard system, can we say that momentum of the board before Freddy lands on it must be the same amount of momentum after the skateboard catches Freddy? I hope you said yes to this question. Because with no external force acting on the Freddy skateboard system, Momentum before Freddy lands is equal to momentum after with Freddy. Since the mass with Freddy is greater, the same momentum means the velocity must decrease. The skateboard has to slow down if it carries Freddy. So we've solved the second part of our question. One of the yum things about physics is the variety of ways to answer questions and solve problems. Let's put some numbers in Freddy and the skateboard. Suppose both the skateboard and Freddy have masses of one kilogram. Let's keep the numbers simple so the concepts are clear. Suppose also that the initial speed of the skateboard is one meter per second. Again, simple numbers. Then the momentum before Freddy's drop is one kilogram, one meter per second, is one kilogram meter second. After Freddy's drop, it's still one kilogram meter second. Question. How fast must twice the mass move for the same momentum of one kilogram meter second? I think you can see the board with Freddy moves at half speed, one half meter per second. Yum physics? I want to leave you with a question. Suppose the situation is the same, but Freddy's mass is two kilograms. What is the speed of the skateboard when Freddy lands on it and takes a ride? Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.